in metal bands before and I had real long black hair and I just, I just I got tired of, of you know doing the same old thing and just I've always wanted to do something besides you know work to live and do the same thing and out every day so some people had said something to me after I cut my hair that I should try some modeling and stuff now that they could see my face <laughs> sent off some applications worldwide just to whoever who I thought you know we're big and doing something and got a call like an hour later by that Friday after that Monday that I'd sent in that application I was up in New York and that weekend got signed and it just started like that. Opening that Terra Mugler show being that they were new the new designers and it was one of the most anticipated shows in part of that year. Like a month or two after that, Models.com had listed me as one of the top 10 male newcomers of the season. I just got back from wrapping my first Hollywood feature film, um, which uh, is going to be released in cinema worldwide. It's a bit crazy. It's, it's such a completely different world in, in some senses as far as the, the casting and everything like that goes than it would be with modelling. But at the same time, there, there's, there's stuff about it that's really similar as well, like as far as being in front of the camera. I've played in a lot of different types of bands. The death metal, of course, as a musician, is more interesting because it's crazy and I get to push myself as, as far as I can. And, but I've played stuff from pop rock to indie to, you know, whatever, all that type of stuff like that. So. My musical tastes are so ridiculously broad um, to where I can be listening to a band, The Faceless, who is like a technical death metal band, to recently what I've been listening to is um, Richard Haller, which is like a, an old folk, almost Elvis type um, singer. I suppose I do have a distinctive style. My look just has attention because of the white blonde hair. I've always been into like the late 80s and early 90s and stuff like that. The thing that has made it most easy on me going into any situation has just been taking what's given to you and rocking it out. If you rock and roll with it and you make it as fun as you can, then you're guaranteed to, you know, if, if you're feeling what you're doing, get something out of it, something good looking out of it. And even if you don't, you had a good time doing it.